again, uh, throw us a hump. I, uh, I watched some of your past in from yesterday. I think the foot might be uh, a bit too wide. That's why when you pick it up, the shape has been changed. They altered the whole world. If your foot is a little bit smaller, it will just fit right there. You, your fingers just fit right underneath and it should be easy for you to lift it up. Okay. So I usually, usually throw the uh, body first. And use uh, a lot of pinch, especially for the uh, smaller part. I use my left hand a lot. So for making a teapot, the opening shouldn't be too wide, okay? Make it smaller, make it smaller. Um, that's the idea, okay? If your pot is this wide, when you try to pour, the water starts to come out from the rim here. So if you have enclosed this, so when you pour out this about here, the water will start to come up from the spout instead of from the top. Okay. So that's why you want to make sure that as long as you got enough, uh, you can take, take care of the, the tea leaves or tea inside. So make it smaller. Okay. You have a measurement tool. Thank you. 
ใช่ And this is the uh, the kind of the, the formation I like. A little uh, higher on the rim, and then I'm gonna have a, a, a lid uh, fitted right there, sitting right there. Uh, I don't have I don't have it with me, but uh, that is the the lid I like to make. So for making a lid, I th I throw the lid upside down. So this is will be the knob. This will be the knob. So for the knot part, I can make it smaller. And then first you want to throw like a shallow ball. You hold that. I'm going to use this wooden tool to push and squeeze down. Okay. So I, when I push, I have I need to have a support on the inside. Okay. For inside here, you don't want to be too flat, and you want to have a little dip because when uh, the uh, lid come, you want to have a little dome. So if this is too flat, you're gonna end up with too much clay there. So make it a shallow, like a shallow bowl on the inside. tool is nice and sharp, it will be very easy for you to remove the excess clay off. So this is going to be the lid, upside down lid. And I don't make the handle on here after I trim and assemble everything. Maybe uh, before I assemble it or before I trim it, I fold my handle and let it sit for a couple hours. So after I finish assemble everything, 
I can attach the handle. Okay. But uh, you don't need to uh, make the handle now because it will take about a day to dry. And for making a spout, first you want to make like a uh, small bottle, a okay. nice bottle. So you can use a small amount of clay. smaller the wall is becoming thicker that's why you need to have a stick to uh, to compress it so that I have a uh, usually I have a popsicle I guess I call it a popsicle stick I kind of a push and you know, put it on the side and then use my left thumb to push it up against it The size looks good on the body. You have to consider similar size. Okay? You don't want you know, your spout too big or too small for the body. So when you do it, you have to adjust it. And, uh, after that, I usually like to uh, dry the surface of my spout because when I throw the spout, the spout is straight. So if you attach the spout straight, yeah, like this is the spout, when the spout is straight, when you tip over and try to pull, this slope is too steep, the water tends to come down here easily. But if you bend your spout, okay, you bend like a curve, okay, a curve. So when you tip over, there's a curve, right? If you have a straight, then goes like that, the water come out. But if you have your curve like this, when you tip over, see that? 
for water, for water to climb up is harder to have a drip. Okay, that's why uh, I want to bend my spout a little curve. I don't want to be too straight. Or not this angle. Okay? This is the wrong angle. Okay? This is it's non-functional T-bar. When you see the T-bar like this, it's non-functional T-bar. Let's go this way. Right. As I say that, you know, you want to do the T-bar dance. <laughs> don't do that. Do this. And <laughs> oh, lit. Okay. Let me get a, a torch for you. Sure. So you don't want to try too much, otherwise when you bend it, it it's going to crack. Okay? So you can, you can try a bit more here on this part, but not too much on here. And as long as the uh, water is gone, <coughs> you can touch it to see it. It's still wet. The idea is I don't want to get too much of the finger mount, and that's all. But you still want to be, you want to be to be uh, soft enough for you to to alter it or change. And still cut. So I will cut it. And try, you try to find a. So when I throw this, I'm even on the top, right? You want to find a higher point, so it will be on the bottom part of this box. So I'm going to stop it, bend it. Okay, that's higher point. This is the middle part, so I am going to So I will try to this this here. You have a tip, right? If you push this part up, okay, you push it up. You will look a little bit more better okay, on this part, this part, and then you bend it down more. So that you see that the, the curve, there's a little curve on the shoulder instead of straight or a, a little deep because I, I pushed it up from the inside. So this will be the uh, spout. You can attach it later on. Um, the bottom. Okay. Um, I don't think we have time, so I'm going to explain how I attach it. This will be uh, taking a day to try. So when you are attaching your spout, okay, it's hard for you to see which line to cut, right? So you might want to place it right behind it. So it casts the shadow so that you have a little bit idea roughly okay, where you're going to cut it. Okay? Like you put it behind, actually you want to Lean it up higher so it's on your eye like this. <coughs> oh, like this. So it's symmetrical, so you have to go the same line. And I don't use this to cut it, okay? I use a sharper knife, very sharp knife. Cut more so that 
mind spot was in so cold. When the clay is it's still soft, you can always pinch it. Okay, pinch. So when you are attaching your spout, actually, you can uh, you, you don't need to wait it uh, till the uh, leather hard stage. You can be softer than leather hard stage to attach it. Probably it needs to go a bit higher because uh, I usually talking about the uh, three points. So usually I will place a level to see what's the three points of the teapot. So uh, at least this has to be the same level here. Okay. Could be a bit lower, but uh, uh, but later on I'm going to cut the top here, cut it off. So. This part and this point, um, also the handle. If there's a handle, it should be the, the same level. Okay. The top of the handle. The top of the handle. Yeah. So roughly, it doesn't have to be exact, but uh, usually when people are washing the teapot, okay, they want to be able to turn it upside down and try it that way. So that three points, a little bit lower should be fine. But if, if it's too high, then the chip is going to rock. That's the uh, idea of uh, the chip. Uh, later on, when this lid gets dead hard, okay, you can just trim it off. Um, there's a little knob here. Um, I tend to uh, make my uh, lid a bit bigger, not too small, a bit bigger than the width here, so that I could trim either part. I could trim either this part or this part. So when they are fitting, they fit in nicely, perfectly inside. If you have a, you have it too small, then there's no way to correct it. So that's why uh, this one should be a bit bigger than that. What I usually do, but uh, yeah, I don't have time to uh, do the full demonstration on the teapot. But just give you some idea of how I make my teapots. And uh, you see that this this is the uh, teapot. So when the water pour out, okay, see that this the curve pour out is easier for water flow and also to stop from the dripping. Can you try to cut the top of the spout now? I know it's not dry, but... Cut the top? Yeah, you, you said the, the lip. Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I will be... The needle mm -hmm. tool doesn't work. Thank you. Uh, usually, I have a very uh, long, skin, yeah, skinny... It's easier for the tool to go around it. And to cut to cut the spout, yes, that's also important too. Because when you throw your spout on the wheel, the clay has the memory. So uh, at the fire, the, the spout is gonna twist. Okay, mm -hmm. twist that direction you pull. Your wheel is spinning counterclockwise, so it means you you're pulling the clay clockwise. So if you from this angle, you look at it, the Spout is not to clockwise. That way you pull because that's the, the memory that the clay gets. Okay. So you want to correct it so when you are cutting your spout, you want to cut one side lower than the other. Actually the left side lower than the right side. Okay. 
Uh, I would say about 15 degrees. Okay, 15 degrees. So this side is lower than this side. So after fire, the spout is going to twist, okay. and then you will be even. Okay. I would say about 15 degrees. Mm -hmm. Also the angle. How do you the angle? How is the angle? Um, it's hard. It's, it's by the experience. <laughs> you know, when the angle, you know, we see that which angle looks nicer. That's the angle. I don't. I cannot tell you. What's the angle exactly? You know, like 15 or 18 or 16 degrees. Yeah, it's the, the it's shape. Yeah, it's not the water flow. It's not a water flow. Water flow was the problem that this spout, you know, spout here. Yeah, it's just you know whatever looks nicer on the spout, you just cut it. 